Let us open our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. The Bible tells us, And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fissures of men. And then on verse 23 of chapter 16, the Bible says, Ready, read. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, but those that be of men. Verse 24. Then said Jesus to his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The last verse before we start is on uh, John chapter uh, 8, verse 11 to 12. Let us read verse number 11. She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. If you can, if you can see the, all the verses that we have read are about the works of the Lord Jesus concerning His commandment to follow Him. Para po sundin ang Panginoon. Why? He is the light of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the very question that we should ask ourselves every time we are, you know, if we would remember God's word or even this preaching is, are we really following the Lord? There are many, there are many things that we do in life. Marami tayong mga plano sa buhay. Marami tayong mga gusto. We, 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 have, many, we have many dreams and plans. We want to do many things in life. We are in different areas or we are, we are in different uh uh, we face different challenges. We have different dreams. Some of you would like to pursue your career. Some of us are full-time workers. Some of us are called to preach. Okay? But all in all, if you find that these verses from, from a new believer, even from an unbeliever, to a new believer, to a growing Christian, and even to a preacher who is called by the Lord, all in all, you would see Christ in His Word, Telling his people to follow him. That's why it was concluded even by King Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes. That, that the conclusion of all the matter is to fear God and keep his commandments. That means to follow him. So instead of trying, instead of trying in anything you are in right now, in any issue you are in right now, instead of trying to look for the best way possible, instead of trying to look for the most profitable uh, 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 most profitable way or, or the easiest way, why don't you, why don't just a Christian think of what God wants him to do? That's the dilemma of Christianity today. Every, every, every child of God, regardless of his stage of growth, would be a new believer or, 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 or an old time Christian. There are many Christians who are really, uh, uh, who, who really do not know the very secret to a good life. When I say good, it's not, not necessarily enjoying life because there are some people who are called to suffer for the name of Christ. But a good life is alive under God's control. A good life is alive under God's provision. A good life is alive under God's sway. Okay? But, but that good life, it's so hard to get that good life from God because we, 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 we tend to forget the fact that we have to follow the Lord. It must not be the it must not be the famous way. It might it must not be the most prominent or, or, or uh, most proven way. It must be God's way. It must be God leading us. And so in any time we can be blessed, any time we can achieve any good thing, we can recall that it is of the Lord's mercy. Why? Because we follow Him. Yun yung mahirap ngayon sa Kristiyano. Ang daming gustong gawin, ang daming pangarap sa buhay, ang daming mga plano, pero hindi naman iniisip, ito ba yung kanooban ng Diyos? 
Is it really the will of God in my life? And you have to be familiar with it. And even your flesh, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. A child of God that will learn His word should be wise enough to know the works of the flesh. This flesh wants rush things, what wants to rush things. This flesh sometimes is, sometimes is unstoppable. Sa Tagalog ba, gusto natin ipilit lagi. Hindi masama. It's not bad to pursue something. It's not bad to push through and, 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 and keep on keeping on. But you have to find it out first. Is it the will of God in your life? Are you following the Lord in the things that you do? Kaya nga ang sarap, minsan mapapagod ka, mauhubusan ka ng lakas. Hindi dahil sa napagod ka, nakadesign at kakaproblema ng problema, kundi napagod kang hanapin ang kalooban ng Panginoon at nagawa mo yung kalooban ng Diyos. It's good to get tired and exhausted in trying to find the way of God and then found, and then once found it, you would go on it and you would obey the Lord and follow Him. It is a blessing to follow the Lord. We will not have anything to boast because we know that it's not us who put ourselves in there, but the God that we follow. Starting from an unbeliever's life, for, for him to be able to be saved is to follow what God said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you with me? And then when you got when when you when you become a new believer, what's the secret to your Christian life to grow? It is to follow the Lord. Yeah. And as as you become an older Christian, a mature Christian, when I say mature, not just mature spiritually, but mature in age, as we grow older, the secret to enjoy this Christian life is to follow Him. It takes all the doubts and fears. As we follow the Lord, as we keep His commandments, as we every time in anything, whether it be by planning for your family, or trying to find a love life, or trying to solve a problem, or working in your company, or, or leading some people to the Lord, or serving Him full time. It must be this goal for every one of us to know His will and to follow it. The Lord Jesus Christ throughout the Bible, from, from, from the time of the Israel, even in, in what we are studying right now in Deuteronomy, all the, all the downs and failures and, and distresses and pains and sufferings and, and, and misfortunes that the Israelites experienced is based on their disobedience in following the Lord. Hindi po ba, lahat ng mga kapalmakan na nakita na natin, we, we thank God for the Bible because all of it are concluded. Naka-conclusion na siya. Malalaman mo na and you just got to get the principle in your personal life. Pero may hindi ka sa sigurista kasi tayo minsan eh. Gusto natin, nakikita natin kagad yung resulta. Pero kung titignan natin, if we would only go back to the stories of the Bible, we can really see that it is a requirement to follow the Lord. It is requirement to follow the Lord. There is a call to follow. Matthew chapter 4.19 says, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. You go out solving it, you go out and tell people about the gospel, not because you like it, not because you're energetic, not because we want to add more numbers in the church, and that's somehow the motivation of many, but the very reason why you go out and tell others about Jesus is because you follow Him. Right. And that's the sole also purpose of any decisions that we should make. Why do you do this? Because I am following the Lord. Why are you keep giving? Because I am following the Lord. Why you are surrendering your life? Because I am following the Lord. Sometimes it's hard, but it's worth it. Right. It's not so. We are not God, you know. We are not God to immediately know what God's will is. There are many, as a mature Christian, as you grow in the Lord, there are many, as a mature Christian, as you grow in the Lord, there are certain dilemmas in the past that right now is easy for you to know. 
Ang ibig ko sabihin eh, marami kong mga bago tayo Christian. Hindi natin alam kung anong kalooban ng Panginoon eh, when we were at our early days of Christianity. And as we grow, it is as we serve the Lord faithfully, now it is better for us to see clearly what is God's will and what is not. But still, we cannot deny it. Are you with me now? Even if I'm a pastor or whoever it is, an old preacher or season one, we cannot deny the fact that there are areas in life that are that somehow it is so hard to know what is his will or not. And so what do, what do we do? That's why it is required for us to study, to study to show ourselves a proof of God. A work that needed not to be seen, rightly dividing the word of truth. You've got to spend so much hours and even spend money and even spend time and exhaustion just for you to know what is God's will. Uh-huh. And you know what's the sad reality? May mga taong handang masaktan at mahirapan para malaman ang kalawa ng Diyos. But there are people who are there are, there are faithful Christians who are experiencing pain, spending much time, effort, just to know what God wants them to do and they will do it. And this is the sad reality. There are many Christians who really do not care. May mga tao na, ano ba ang kalooban ng Panginoon? Magbibusiness ako, what's the will of God? Maglalag life ako, ano ba ang kalooban ng Panginoon? Nagbiministry ka, nagsisar ka, ano ba ang gusto na Diyos? What God wants me to do. But there are Christians who do even do not care. Who cares about the will of God? This is what I want. This is what I think what is right. Are you with me now? And then blame God for failures come. You see? So I hope and I pray that we have to remember that God is calling everybody to follow Him. So the very question for you tonight in your Christian life, are you really following the Lord? Don't tell me you're faithful in giving. Don't tell me you're a teacher. Don't tell me you read your Bible. The very question right now, are you really following the Lord? Are you really following the Lord? Do you follow His commandments? Do you seek His will in your life? There must be a choice to follow. Matthew chapter 16 verse 24. Ready? Go. Then said he, said Jesus and his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That's the last verse I remember I talked with the evangelist Janet. It is indeed a verse for everybody. If you want to be saved, you have to follow the Lord. Are you with me now? You have to take His, his cross and follow Him. And even after you get saved, you still need to follow the Lord. It doesn't change. The way to life is Jesus Christ. The way to life, to, the way to abundance is Jesus Christ. When abundant, you, you know what I mean. I'm not talking about uh, ito, social gospel. When I say abundant life, it is a life under God's control. A life with sweet peace. Are you with me now? But you have to choose it. And sometimes choosing to follow the Lord is heavy. Sometimes it costs us much. For young people, there, there will be many times it will cost your friends. Are you with me now? If you want to follow the Lord, there will be classmates that you know that will uh, leave you. You will you will have you, you sometimes it costs a relationship. He that prophet or father more than me is not worth than me. Sometimes it costs money. Sometimes it costs pain. Are you with me now? Huh? But, but is it worth it, folks? Worth it ba ang sundin ng Panginoon? Yes, indeed! Amen. Yes, indeed! He that followed Him, even if you deny yourself, the Bible tells us, He that lose it is not for my sake, the same shall find it. Uh, right. Are you with me now? But there are Christians who are really living their life, trying to find life and cannot find it at all. If you think that you're having a good time of life not following the Lord tonight, my friend, I want you to realize that is not life. Uh, that's not life. If you think that's life, 
Follow the Lord until you see what life really is. Huh? Iba ang sinusunod ng Panginoon. Kung tunay tayo ligtas. Kung hindi naman tayo ligtas, presta. Kasi yung biyadong punta ng Lord. Whether you enjoy life or not, if you're unsafe, you're going to hell for eternity. But if you're a safe person, if you're a child of God, there is no greater life than a life following the Lord Jesus. So instead of you trying to find the right decision, trying to do your own thing, the very first principle or question you have to ask yourself, am I following the Lord? In my study, am I following the Lord? As a young people, as a young person, am I following the Lord? As a husband, am I following the Lord? Alam niyo pati mga pag-aaway ng pamilya, away ng Mr. and Mrs. Kung makikita lang talaga ng tao, ay siya kung hindi naman tayo perfecto, pakahit kami ng asawa ko, nagtatalo minsan eh. Pero, when I'm alone, for example, I have something against my wife. Are you with me? And when I'm alone, this place would want to retaliate, to say bad words, or to leave. Are you with me now? But there is a God who already concluded relationship in His Word. I just have to follow Him. Husbands, love your wife. As Christ also loved the church and gave Himself for it. And it gives me enough wisdom, enough power to do what is right and then enjoy the relationship that God has given. Huh? You see? I think, nung nais, ibang pag may sinusunod ka talaga din. Okay. It is really different if there is somebody who is being obeyed and if it is God. Right. You, you might claim you are wise, you might claim you are good, but folks, listen, Without God, man is nothing. Amen. And so this nothing must realize that he needs to follow God in his life. Okay. And in following God, no matter what you achieve in life, you would always remember, had it not been for the grace of God, I am not here. Amen. You see, that's why you have to choose to follow I have to follow what God wants me to do. Same with the wife. Kasi baka mamaya, maluwi naman yung mga husband. If you're a wife, there are many times you won't understand your husband. There are many times you would hate or whatever. You follow the Lord. Wives, submit to your own husbands as unto the Lord. Are you with me? And then once, whatever you might be thinking best, for that relationship. The only best way, or even the only way, is to follow what God wants you to do. You see? And ganun din sa lahat, sa pagtatrabaho. Kaya ang problema ito, this is what I share naman ako. The hardest part, especially for a growing Christian, is to know what God's will is. But still, it's worth it to be exhausted trying to find it than not, not considering it at all. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge Him. Uh -huh. And He shall direct thy paths. Amen. So, kasi minsan nawawala tayo. Tama yung sinabi ng Peter John kanina, minsan nalilimot tayo eh. Kaya, huwag tayong makalimot. Ano man ang ginagawa mo ngayon, mahal mong kapatid? Ano man ang mga plano mo sa buhay? Lagi mong tatanungin ang sarili mo, kanoopan ba ng Diyos ang ginagawa ko pa? This flesh will, ano tayo, ililigaw ka. The heart is so deceitful that there can be a time that you will be spending days and hours and months getting tired away from His will. Paano hindi mo naman i-consider magiging makasarili ka na? You will be selfish and you will always think of what you want and you will always do what you want to do. Maybe this message would remind us tonight, are you following the Lord? Are you following the Lord's will in your life? You have to choose to follow Him. Don't you ever forget that that is a chance, a wonderful opportunity 
Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if you will hear His voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation the day of temptation in the wilderness. Verse 15. While it is said, Today, if you will hear His voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. It really fights one with another. The whole Galatians chapter 5 and 6 is about the fight within, the war inside. You know God's will, you heard it, there was preaching, you read the Bible, and you know you're a child of God, you know, you, you know that God hates it, you know that God wants you to do this and to do that. And you know that this flesh fights back. Uh, right. Your flesh doesn't want it. You, you want the other way around. Are you with me now? No. But do not forget that following God is not a burden, it's a choice. Right. So don't even make it an option. Do not harden your heart as in the provocation, starting at the conviction of the Holy Ghost, starting on the Word of God, when you realize it is right, then do not harden your heart, then it be open to the Lord's will, and then dare to obey God in your life. Amen. It's a great privilege to follow the Lord. Amen? He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of light. But what if I follow the Lord and I experience sufferings and pain? And so be it. It's still worth it, folks. This short life, it's still worth it to follow God. Amen? So the question tonight for everybody, are you following the Lord in the ways of your life today? Sinusunod mo ba talaga ang Panginoon? Okay, no, do you consider what God wants to do, what God wants you to do right now? And if it's so, then you come to the Lord in prayer and pray with me.